between Mayweather and, and Tank Davis. So it's just it's no different than the than the horrible relationship between Oscar and um, Canelo Alvarez. Mm. Same thing. Yeah. Well, I found that just um, that happened earlier today, and I just want, or yesterday in um, in America. I just want to ask you. I kind of laughed at the whole thing because. De La Hoya was Canelo's personal bodyguard when he did fail those drug tests for the Triple G rematch. Then he's up there saying, oh, when Canelo failed these tests, Munguia wanted to step in. It's like, you're the guy who defended him. So I just laughed at this when I, when I heard De La Hoya speak. I mean, what did you make of it? I think Oscar's 100% right. I think that Canelo, you know, He's acting like a big shot now, but back then he wasn't acting like a big shot, and and um, he had to suck it up, you know. He got caught, and in the meantime, is Floyd? I mean, um, Oscar stood behind him, and uh, Oscar built a guy. Oscar, yeah. Oscar helped make Canelo Alvarez the attraction that he is. Yeah, and he was a big part of it. True, and there you go. And with with Oscar now. Even when Canelo sued him, he was very cordial and probably because he was hoping maybe they'll work things out. But I never remembered Canelo, I mean, excuse me, Oscar, criticizing Canelo uh, that heavily. I always felt he was going at Eddie Hearn um, up until recently in a pretty petty way. And, and I'm not defending Eddie Hearn here. I've got loads of issues with him. But Oscar De La Hoya was the one coming out with things that I felt he was just trying to start something. Now all of a sudden he's going at Canelo... Do you think this is because he sees he actually sees Munguia as a threat to him, or he he's finally come face to face with Canelo, so he's like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say what's on my mind. I think that Canelo has said so much bad stuff about Oscar over the years since the breakup that Oscar was just fed up with Canelo's bullshit. And, right. Uh, you know when Oscar when when a guy like Canelo should be respecting what Oscar did for him whether he decided to leave and break up and all that kind of stuff, but he didn't respect him and he didn't respect his, um, the things he did for him and stuff. And, you know, Canelo's a self-centered guy. That's pretty apparent. Mm. So, you know, Oscar, I, listen, I do business with Oscar and um, Oscar is a very fair guy to do business with. Right. He, under, he gets it. He understands. Okay. And, um, you know, him and his president of uh, the company, uh, Eric Gomez. You know, when I when I make a deal with them, or Rick, are you satisfied with this deal? Are you happy with this deal? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, they'll ask you, and I said, yeah, oh yeah, I am. Okay, good. And then then we move on to more business, and they're very concerning people in the sense that I'm sorry, I said that wrong. They're very caring people, yep. and they are concerned. OK, and um, they just they want things to go smoothly. And Oscar's about long term relationships. I don't care what anybody else says. Oscar's about long term relationships when it comes to business. I'm not saying about uh, personal life uh, that that I'm not going to say, but because I don't know that. But but uh, as far as business, he's about long term relationships. And, you know, it, his company shows his president. He's been, he's been childhood friends with, with the with his president Eric Gomez, and um, Eric Eric is a great president. Um, and he he's a great watchdog over the company, and he's built the company um, uh, in the last uh, ten years since he took basically took over. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, it's uh, things come full circle, and they're doing well now. Gotcha. Uh, yep, and thanks for bringing that up. Um, my my main questions of, um, surrounding, um, like, I, I don't know if it's even worth asking about David Benavides because this because this fight's obviously not going to happen. Um, I think we I think we everybody's pretty much accepted that. Um, it's a uh, it's about it's about what happened with Devin Haney and Ryan. Benavides knows it's not happening. That's why he's fighting a light heavyweight now. Right. Yep, no, 100%. He so knows it's not going to happen. Yeah. So he, him, David Benavides and his father said enough bad things about Canelo, and Canelo just doesn't want to give him the payday. Right. That's the way I'm looking at it. Mm. So. 
you know, that they didn't respect Canelo and Canelo's now biting back by, and you know, you know, don't, don't feed, don't bite the hand that feeds you and you're just not going to get fed. <laughs> That's all.